I think it's a delusion. Someone is self-delusional. Yeah, I think it's it's delusion. It could be a mental illness. It could be a, it's, it's a lot of different things. With, with children, wow. you know, they're... <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Delusional. People don't like to be called delusional. Right? No, they don't. How much they you want to bet? How much you want to bet that Addison has a book called The God Delusion on her bookshelf right now? <laughs> How much you want to bet? I'll go 50 bucks. <laughs> Let us know, Addison. That's There's true. also just a basic confusion that all kids have. Like, that's why when you hear, when you, when you hear someone, a parent say, oh, my four-year-old uh, son came, came to me and said that uh, I'm a girl now, and so that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise him as a girl. No, you're, you're a four-year-old. I have four kids. When a four-year-old boy comes to you and says, oh, I'm a girl, here's a good follow-up question. What is a girl? Ask him what he means by that. What do you mean by a girl? And when you, when you ask him that, here's what he'll tell you. He will tell you what he really means is that he, he wants to do some of the things that girls do, like play with the dollhouse or, or, you know, he likes the color pink. That's fine. Play with the dollhouse. But you're still a boy. I think that I, I do agree with that argument. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, no. It's excellent. I mean, cause Good parenting. I feel like right anyone, there. right, I feel like anyone who's been around children, small children has had that experience where the kid says something like that maybe not like i'm a girl boy but like oh i'm a tiger or whatever and then yeah. it's just oh why are you that well because i want to act out some mm -hmm. thing i've now attributed to this group that i'm identifying with yeah and it does seem very especially with little kids it does seem very transitory no pun intended which is why <laughs> i don't like this whole you have to teach four-year-olds you know how to figure out their gender identity because they don't know what the fuck you're talking about yeah okay when I was three years old, mm -hmm. I saw the music video for uh, Bad by Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I was pretty sure Michael Jackson was a girl mm -hmm. <laughs> based on his appearance. Yeah. Okay. Well, so voice. when you're a little kid, I was like, yeah, I was like high pitched voice, long hair. Look mm -hmm. at that. I was yeah. like, mommy, why are all these like guys in the bar dancing with this lady? <laughs> what's happening here so yeah so you wanted to be michael jackson i that's you you nailed it you totally nailed it though what? i will say even though i i 100 agree with matt walsh's argument here i don't think he believes it and this is where i get into oh that. my god look right. at this so totally second get throwing I am. Look, he's looking for the uh, the authoritarian, theocratic dog whistle here. Well, no, like, but I, what I don't believe is when he right. says, like, oh, it's fine if the boy plays with the dollhouse and wears right. pink. He's like, I, in his house, he's like, fuck you, you're going to play with that dollhouse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Matt Walsh is like, fuck. Exactly. Where are your I'm trucks? I'm skeptical. Right. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm burning that doll dollhouse. Mm -hmm. Get right. your Legos. <laughs> Get your fucking Legos. Yep. I don't know. Really? I Well, I'm basing I this now so. I could be wrong. I'm basing this on the fact that he seems to be very very anti-gay. And mm -hmm. I would imagine he would not want his kids to be gay. Now, maybe he'd be fine with his kids just fucking gender norms as mm -hmm. long as they're still straight. I don't know, but she I wouldn't be surprised if he sees a connection in his mind. In the book, in the the Helen Joyce book, the trans book, she talks mm -hmm. about some of these groups that people, you know, they're the parents of trans kids and they openly talk about how it's so much better to have a trans kid than a, than a gay kid that it just, all the, the gender norms just snap, snap right into place. And I just, Wait. My stomach the, turns. The the parents are are happier to have a. Tr yes. What? I don't understand. Yes, yes. The, she postulates that a lot of this is being driven by homophobia, like that people mm -hmm. would, because a lot of these people they do desist the gender dysphoria and they just become like a lesbian or a gay man. Like a lot of it's driven right, by right. their same sex attraction. It just seems so insane i mean i know like was it saudi arabia is a famous example but it seems crazy to me in america that someone would be squeamish about their child being gay but not squeamish about their child transitioning that's i that just, it's not seem like a 
a thing that I can possibly wrap my brain around. Yeah, I'm not a parent, so I don't necessarily know. And I mean, I I would have no problem having a gay kid if I was a parent. Well, that's what like, I'm, I just I'm saying. Want... Like, why would you? Why would a parent be like, "Oh, I'm squeamish that my child is going to be kissing and fucking people of the same uh, sex," but the parent is like, "Oh, but I'm not squeamish about my child taking hormones and getting physical surgery to alter their body to be the other sex." That's the other sex. That just doesn't make any sense to me. I, like, I've heard this argument. It's just. I don't know. Maybe people feel this way. I just can't understand. Well, she in the book, she quotes people talking like in groups and message right. boards and stuff. Right. But that's what I'm saying. That's why to me, that's when you when I hear that, it's so like, I don't know. It's just so strange well, it's a, to me. Yeah, no, it's definitely strange to me, too. Like, I, I wouldn't feel that way. But I mean, do you doubt that people do feel that way? I, I, I guess mean, someone does. I just don't think it's they're saying big, it. I would be shocked if that's like uh well and you a, know a sizable already... chunk of, of parents of trans kids that are like oh well if they were gay i would be a super against this but now well, that they're trans i'm in favor like, you also just... you also mentioned that the like in saudi arabia this right. is the norm like they believe homosexuality is wrong but transitioning is the solution to homosexuality right but yeah it's yeah. a completely different conception of transitioning but i mean it's driven by the same moral intuitions I guess, right i guess you're right, but the moral, but the cultural moral intuitions of people in Saudi Arabia is very different from how America. How many people, so. though? How many people, you know, want to have, you know, they wanted to have a son or a daughter and they haven't had it, and so no, but it's like that's what I'm saying. Like, if you have some guy who's like, oh, I really want to have like, like a super masculine child that I could take hunting and blah blah blah, and they're like, oh, my child is effeminate. Well, no, what am I going to do? I'm going to have a gay, ch a gay boy. My whole mm -hmm. life is ruined as a father. But then mm -hmm. suddenly the child's like. Dep, like papa i'm not actually a gay male i'm transitioning to be a woman mm -hmm. and then the father's be like oh i'm so happy now i get to have like a very effeminate girly girl daughter like i just i understand that like the idea that just doesn't seem realistic to me that that's a feeling people would express well when have. the daddy daughter dance comes up you have someone to go with but if you have a gay <laughs> son you don't you can't take your gay just so you know sitch you can't take your gay son to the daddy daughter dance what okay? the Listen, daddy daughter dances seem mm -hmm. real sus to me. Okay, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I listen, oh, listen, I'm not gonna sitch. go no daddy daughter listen, dance. Listen I didn't go to no sitch. mom son dance. I don't, I don't know what's up with these dances. This seems very strange to me. Okay? There is no mom son dance. Okay, that makes it even worse. What the hell's going on here? Daddy daughter dance. Get out of here with this. What that's like a that's like a tradition. My daughter is the most beautiful piece of ass in the world, Adam. I thought the daddy daughter would be lucky dance to was have. So, so you could scope out the guys who were like trying to get with your daughter. You're like, oh, well, okay. So when you say daddy daughter dance, you just mean the dads are there, or you mean like the dads are actually dancing with the daughters? Well, they do. Wait, dance what young guy? Wait a minute. Times. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Adam. Maybe mm -hmm. I've conceptualized this wrong. What uh, there's not going to be any young guys at the daddy daughter dance. There's going to be just dads there. So if any other person, I don't think that's how it works. Dance with your daughter. That's extra creepy. I don't think that's how it works. Okay, I maybe I'm yeah. confused on this daddy daughter dance situation. Maybe we should move on. We should move on. <laughs> that's a question I would like to throw out to you know other members of the panel. Actually, because just like the four year old, notice how he said other members of the panel. Excellent dodge right there on the pronouns. Yes. Can't answer what is a girl. That's fine. Play with the dollhouse. But you're still a boy. Mm -hmm. That's a question I would like to throw out to you know, other members of the panel. Actually, because just like the four-year-old can't answer what is a girl. Well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it. I, I super wish that he, he, Matt Walsh hadn't have categorized it as a left-wing gender ideology i right. know that it is but i just oh, don't mm -hmm. see how politicizing it is helpful since you really want people who are left-wing to be against this matt has a different goal than you have yeah yes you, ha you want you and i want to have two functioning sane political parties correct yeah because we we see we understand being enlightened centrist okay mm -hmm. we understand the benefit of having societal offense and defense yeah there has to be this balance be between uh, 
moving forward and progressing and a balance between Tradition. preserving yeah. traditions that are, are good and helpful. Yeah. Matt doesn't want that though. Yeah. I mean, he, in, in the, one of the clips I saw of his, he was talking about how like people were so much happier um, psychologically and spiritually under feudalism in the middle ages mm -hmm. because there wasn't science and they just had a religion and they had all the answers and it told them like what direction to live their life mm -hmm. yeah. okay so he because what yeah, if when their baby was covered with smallpox they were so happy that they had no place to take him but the church right exactly exactly yeah no he, he gives on on the whole medicine thing but mm -hmm. um no, but that's because when you're talking to the the, the tribalist, mm -hmm. what you know, what it's the Sitchin Amsel. He wants to paint all the left as being like, yeah, exactly, this. yep, right, yeah. He wants to basically say Sitch and Adam are the same as these gender ideologues, basically, right, sitting right. here, yeah. But you're right from a purely <clears throat> pragmatic perspective. It's a mistake. You, it's, a it's a mistake. Mistake. It's yeah. a strategic mistake. Well, depending on what you want to accomplish, if you just want this stuff to go away mm -hmm. and to not be a thing anymore, and for wokeism to die, continually associating it with just the left broadly isn't is going to make it worse. Yeah. Because and this is why we, as as you guys all witness, if the left makes a statement or if the right makes a statement, the left will instantly react to it and defend it so if the right says the sky is blue the left will say no it's red get the fuck out of here yeah and then if the left says you know oh you should drink water to mm. live then the right be like no you should drink coca-cola every day like everyone's just reacting to the, be the opposite of the other team that's all yeah. that's happening with like 99 percent of the people's opinions on this shit yeah it's sad i am wondering Can like in that wall of zoom faces behind them. Mm -hmm. Like what happens if someone just starts like flicking off the camera? Yeah. I think it's just pre-recorded faces. I don't I, even think it's, you think it's just Now that's interesting. That's bizarre. Like, cause this you can't is, really tell the, if they're reacting, right? Right. This is a studio audience laugh track taken to a whole new level here. <laughs> the dead laughter. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so weird. Oh, I saw you on Dr. Phil. Oh, which episode? <laughs> <laughs> on what you weren't there no <laughs> i sent in a recording that they could use they paid me 50 dollars to stare at the screen for 30 minutes it had yeah. cat videos on it it was it was fine even the members of the panel actually because just like the four-year-old can't answer what is a girl well this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean it's like what is a woman well, Can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Because <laughs> it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? But before we get into this train, mm -hmm. we have to respond to the first point. The no, I can't? Because but, it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. What do you, what do you define? Because the question he asked was, how do you define a woman? I know. Yeah. And the answer was, it's not for me to say. Right. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, not at all. We need to have category. Like, even if, even if, if uh, Ethan felt like he, I'm trying, I forgot mm -hmm. the pronoun. It's so annoying. <laughs> even if Ethan felt mm -hmm. that, you know, he would defer to whomever's trans identity or whatever, he still has in his mind an idea right. of what it means to be a woman yeah because other, just as like ethan has in his mind what it means to be a chair or oh a dog yeah you're right like what does a, a woman computer. mean to you yeah right like yeah like you don't experience dogness but you still have a category in your mind of, of understanding what a dog is right like that's the entire point of labels and categories is to identify to other fucking people right what the thing is so so he could just answer what a what what it means to him right he, he, his answer is it means something different to everyone well what does it mean to you <laughs> like what is right. your what does it mean to you well his answer would be the, the problem is because if he gave an answer it'd be entirely useless because his answer would be a woman is some is a is a human being that identifies as a woman right, right. It'd be like a tautology you'd be like oh this tells right. me nothing of value right right yeah, so if exactly. that's the case if your label 
if your label doesn't provide any value, there's no information that's given to you by a there label. There is zero information there. Then what's the, then there's no reason to have the label. A woman is someone it, that identifies as a woman. Well, what well, what does <laughs> yeah, a woman well, so what the fuck does that mean? What is what is a woman? Well, a woman is someone that identifies as a woman. Well, why well, would someone what, what, want so to what, identify as a woman then? That doesn't even make sense. So what is the thing that the person right. is identifying as? Right. It's completely ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous.